Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. We're here today at Chessington World of Adventures for a day of fun! Yay! We've got lots of cool rides to get on. We've obviously got the animal element of this theme park as well, which is amazing. The brand new Jumanji area with Mandrill Mayhem and I'm very excited. Are you? Yes, but the Jumanji area, Mummy apparently said we were going first on the vampire, but now she says Jumanji. We we're going to Jumanji first and then we'll get to Vampire Bay. Let's go. So we have got here for opening and it does look like it's going to be quite a busy day, but kind of expected that because it's like a Saturday in the summer holiday. So we're prepared, we're ready, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So as we're here today, the Wilder Fest um, celebration is actually due to start in just a few days time. So they've got topiaries and the lovely colors and everything out ready, which is a result. I didn't think we'd see any of this. It's very cool, isn't it? Paisley's in with the elephant. <laughs> For Mandrill Mayhem, the new coaster in Jumanji, you do have to do a reserve and ride, which is free on the Chessington app. So we've got that ready and that's gonna be our first stop. So I hadn't actually looked at a map or anything about the new Jumanji area. And it's actually right as you come into the park, like you swing a right and we're right here. And it actually looks really good. The coaster looks bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it'd be quite small, but oh my gosh, oh my God. Wow! Mandrill Mayhem, it looks so much fun, doesn't it? So Mandrill Mayhem is virtual queue only. We're heading straight in for theming in this Jumanji area. It doesn't it look so good for theming. I'll show you guys after we've been on the ride, but we just wanted to get on quickly and get this one done. There's a couple of other flat rides around here and it's very nice, really nice addition to Chessington. So we've stopped in the queue just before we go into the interior bit where the ride station is, which is so good. There was a lot of queue line that we've just whizzed right through. Make sure you have got the app and you're familiar with the QR code process because there are a lot of people standing out there that weren't sure and I think we're a bit confused. So we're straight on. Got some great views of the train going round. Look at that. Hey, so you haven't done many upside downs before, have you? Which Space Mountain, Disneyland Paris? It's going to be your second upside down ever. You'll be fine. You're with Mama. I got you. You do not let up. And from Mandrill Mayhem, there's a lot of like Jumanji themed explorer type tops, plush, obviously a Mandrill, he is 20 pounds, they've got the characters from the film, these are quite cool actually, 18 pounds, and then they've got like snacks and sweets and things and the ride photo as well which is quite cool okay we've just come off of mandrill mayhem that was way more intense than i anticipated especially the start i think that was the limit for paisley at the moment that's definitely the fastest ride she's been on outside of like space mountain at disneyland paris which is her like probably her other fastest but yeah she doesn't want to go on again. We have got another reserve and ride, but I don't think we're going to do it. She doesn't want to do it. It was really good though. A much like bigger and faster coaster than I thought it would be. So a really good ride and I'm glad we've got it done. Paisley and Rob are now going to go on Mamba Strike, one of the flat rides here in the world of Jumanji. And I'm going to have a little explore around the area. But yeah. Oh, I'm a bit wobbly. <laughs> so Mamba Strike and Mandrill Mayhem are 1.2 meters height limit. This is a five minute way and it's just like a little flat ride, but that'll be fun. Katie likes this kind of ride. I love how in the center here where it says World of Jumanji, you've got like all the game pieces around the outside. As I say, the theming in this area. It's really, really cool. 
I got a lot of time for this. They have carnival games and things like that around in the area as well to keep you busy between rides, which is quite cool. And I love how like it was all themed, like Jumanji style. Really good. The second flat ride here is Ostrich Stampede, which is kind of just like a frog jumper, but that has shot up to 70 minutes and the park's only been open half an hour. Whether that's because it's the first ride you actually get to as you enter the world of Jumanji, I don't know, but I don't think we'll be getting on this one today. I really do love all this seeming. You saved Jumanji, you may now exit the game just as we leave the area. We're just exiting the world of Jumanji and I'm still not over how good Mandarin Mayhem was. It's got like a bit of everything with the launch, the forwards, the backwards element. It's got the inversion. You wanna, you wanna go in it. Don't listen to that, I said before. It's so fun. It is so oh, fun. Yeah, the guy said that the member strike ride was good as well. Didn't yeah, you? Didn't pass. It looked like at the back. Yeah, it's all damaged where people have been breaking. So it's all polystyrene. Oh, why did they do that? There's massive holes in it where it's people have been horrid. breaking. It's what two months old? Yeah, ridiculous. Not good. Right, we've just swung right again, and we're heading down into the wild woods area. Crazy, absolutely loves oh. the vampire. So this is like really quite quick actually to get from Jumanji to the vampire it's just the next little land so off we go vampire time oh it's a bit spooky down here family are you ready for the vampire baby girl yeah. if you look at it and if you don't know it's one of those swingy things it looks like an all, all way upside down coaster doesn't it it does look here it comes hey so it's just coming up for 11 o'clock, the park's been open an hour and the vampire is currently at a 60 minute wait, so hopefully it goes quite quickly. So we've just come off of the vampire and I forgot how much fun that ride is. Like it's such a classic here at Chessington. It was obviously a lot older than Mandrill Mayhem, so it's a bit more like rapid but it's a much longer ride and it's less intense so loved it it's Paisley's favourite that was really really good we're now just looking around like where the Gruffalo ride is and we may have been to the Vampire Burger Kitchen for a bit of lunch it's coming up at 12 o'clock I'm going to sit down and go through like all the queue times and work out priorities for the day but so far I feel like we've done quite well in the two hours we've been here we've done our two top rides which was Mandrill Mayhem and the Vampire so it's going well the weather's lovely we're so lucky it like pulled the rain so much on the way down here but then as soon as we got here perfect blue skies so I'll take that we have come in here for some lunch because we thought we may as well get it done before it gets super busy but look how cool it is in here there's all like vampire bats on the floor which Paisley's leaping on and the trees, there's little gargoyles, and they do burgers, chicken tenders, mozzarella sticks. No one in here. Lovely. You having a good day? Yes, the, the vampire is awesome. M. Awesome. M. What are we going to go on next, do you reckon? What do you We're fancy? Go on the tiger one next. I've never done the tiger one, the water slide, have you? It gets really wet, and mummy's packed these spare clothes, but. Um, I love the vampire. Here's a top tip if you don't want to bash your head on the thing because it really does hurt. Keep your head forward and hold on to that. It was fun, wasn't it? Uh -huh. And we then you won't bash, but you're going to have to hold it tight. Thanks for the sure. tip, sweetheart. Yummy, water cold. Right, so lunch is here. It was quite expensive, um, but I've got a chicken tenders meal. So is Paisley. What did you get, Rob? Burger? Yeah. And some dips and stuff. They didn't do yours as a meal. So oh, is that why they're two separate ones? Get it all separate. Okay. But it looks yummy. £36, which is quite steep. But that's a huge meal. You'll have to help me, probably. And then you've got your bag. Did you get that maple cronut one? That would have been cool. Maple cronut. It's a bit different, isn't it? Oh, standard burger rooney. Great big tomato. <laughs> and then Paisley's got chicken tenders. Kids meal. I don't like the chicken tenders. You haven't even tried them yet. Um, but yeah, looks yummy. Guys, I spoke too soon when I said how lucky we've been with the weather because we just had an absolute downpour, but it's fine. It only lasted like 10 minutes. And by the way, by the time we finished eating at the Vampire Kitchen, the whole place was full. Probably because it was raining and it was also coming up to like 
12, we got in just before we left like just after. So that little bit of difference and the whole restaurant filled up. Food was delicious as it should have been for that price. <laughs> like that was really quite expensive. Um, next time I think I'll have a kid's meal because that'll be absolutely fine. Um, we just walked round to Crock Drop and um, Pacey and Rob are gonna go get in line for that now. I did Crock Drop last time we come here. I didn't love it. I'm a bit scared of drop towers that are exposed. So where the tower is just like a tower, where it's not like tarot terror, which is inside a building, I'm fine with that. But when it's a naked tower, it ain't for me. And crop drop is a naked tower. Right, the guys have headed in. The blue skies are coming out again, which is good. That's what we're here for. And yeah, here's the entrance of Crock Drop with a really cool photo up there. I've just got some nice ones of Paisley actually, which I'll insert. And that did just say 45 minutes. Um, yeah, but the line doesn't look actually that long from just looking from the outside i've just had a wander around and i remember the last time we rode this um back when it was new actually in 2021 um it like went right back and it's nowhere near like that so hopefully the guys will be on and off a bit quicker but doesn't look that tall from here but when you go up you could literally see like london and everything which i know isn't far but oh here it comes I don't know which point in my life that my seven year old become braver than me, but she 100% is. She will literally do anything. She's got no fear. So proud of her. She's such a little adventurer. The guys are literally just about, probably should be on the next couple of rides if Crock Drop, and they've only been in line for about 20 minutes. So that's perfect i'm just sitting here watching it go up and down and then afterwards i think we're going to head into the land of the tigers area and see some tigers because that's really cool here we haven't actually stopped by any animals yet so we definitely need to do that and um, pacey wants to check out tiger rock as well because last time we were here she wasn't actually tall enough to ride it so hopefully we can get a ride on tiger rock which is a water like log flumey type ride which goes like past the tigers and stuff it should be awesome they're on there now this is the part where as a mother, I panic. You see Rob's purple top. When they come down a minute ago, I can hear Paisy's little squeal, bless her heart. Oh my gosh. Sit back! Sit back! Oh my word. Straight into the crux now. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Bless that baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cream egg, yum. How was it? <laughs> I saw you put your hands in the air. Rob dared me. Rob dared you. That is not, <laughs> that is not good. Not teach him young. <laughs> I, I was the one who was waving my legs. Did you enjoy it? You doing all that, was she? What next? Dragon's Fury. Just come up to have a look at Dragon's Fury, which on the app a minute ago was shown as half hour, but it's just jumped up to a hundred minutes, which is crazy. So let's go see those tigers, my babe. Yeah, look at those long eggs. Oh my gosh, they're dragon's eggs. Head into the conservation area and the land of the tiger. I love it when they like walk over. I think that's such a cool like element of this area. Oh my gosh, they're literally feeding the tiger. That's amazing. Wow. Look at those paws. Can you see that tiger? Wow. Oh, we can that was a gorgeous little coincidence that we just get to see the tigers be fed. When he jumped up, that's amazing. Pacey's taking me on Tiger Rock water ride, which I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't want to get wet. I've just got dry from the downpour, but she really wants to do it, and we've never done it before, so off we go. <laughs> Yeah, that's where we had the churros, isn't it? They were nice, actually. 
This is giving me Animal Kingdom vibes, like the Asia area and Carly River Rapids. Wow, look at the bunting. Lovely, oh my gosh, 60 minutes, right. Five past one. You wanna wait an hour, my darling? Yep, okay. We were in line for Tiger Rock for like 20 minutes, got right to the front and then it went down. So we waited for like another half an hour, but I don't think it was coming back up anytime soon and everybody left, so we just, followed suit but we'll try again later and we met a lovely family and they love Florida as well and yeah it was just cool so we're talking Disney and everything so that was really nice and we've now walked down to the wild Asia area and Pacey and Rob are going on the Cobra ride which is like a big spinny disc thing not for me don't do spinning don't do towers I feel like I've got more of a wimp as the years go by but I just like soaking in all the atmosphere and having a little look around and stuff and I'll watch them go around and they'll enjoy it. But yeah, it's a lovely day. I'm having such a good time. Chessington is probably my favourite UK park. Like, I don't know. It's between this and Alton Towers and Poltons. I love them all, really. <laughs> waiting for the guys and I've come across these um, two food trucks smash it and bun and Easton eat so you'd like a burger one and then chicken katsu and spring rolls and things like that which is quite different to your normal theme park food it's pretty cool unbelievably guys the cobra broke down so Paisley and Rob literally sat down and they were like no technical difficulties so that's two rides in a row which is a bit of a nightmare and was like Oh, do you do anything like a fast pass or anything? No, sorry, nothing. Okay, great. So, two hours of our lives wasted. <laughs> Tiger Rock's back open now, so we're going to go jump on here. Completely get that it's like nature of the beast and rides go down and stuff, but I don't think it's right that we waste two hours and like there's no alternative, like a fast pass to get on something else or, you know, it's a long time to stand about waiting, especially for a child, but never mind. We're gonna get on the Tiger Rock now because Paisley's still keen on that one and it did look really good. Same 60 minutes again, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we'll actually get to ride this time. She ended up buying um, reserve and ride one shot passes for Tiger Rock because I just really wasn't in the mood to queue again after the last time, but it was so fun, wasn't it? Yeah! It's actually a really good water flume, and I think it was eight pounds each, so just Pacey and I went on. So that was good. Now we're back in Asia. <laughs> we seem to have spent a lot of time in this little area this afternoon. Um, we're going on the monkey swingers because it's only a 10 minute or so wait, so we just want to get on some rides now because we've had a little while without any, so we're going to smash as much as we can in the last few hours of the day. Just having a little bit of a wander around and explore. Absolutely love all the stuff they've got set up for Wilderfest. It's all so colourful and lovely. And I think we're just gonna have a little look at the animals. Um, there's like a reindeer around here, which looks super cute. Hello, mate. Hello, sweet darling. Oh, hi, cutie. You having a snack? Hello, mate. What an angel. Hello, baby. Oh, look at your hair. Are you shedded for the summer? Oh, bless them. I don't know that they look that happy, to be honest, which is quite sad. I'm sure they're fine, but they're pacing a little. Are you okay? Are you all right, babies? Oh. They've got like signs of all the things they have here. So there's Winter's Tale for Christmas, Halloween, Wilderfest, and Mardi Gras, like raw, which has already happened. But 
lots of fun things happen here. It's good that there's all different things to celebrate throughout the year. Uh, so it's coming up for about four o'clock and we were looking on reserve and ride and we were able to get another uh, return time for Mandrill Mayhem. So we're gonna head back into the world of Jumanji where we started our day and get on that ride because that reserve and ride system seems to be really quite good actually and it's a good ride it's definitely worth another go it's kind of like a mini swarm if you're familiar with the swarm at Thought Park it's like a mini like younger audience friendly version of that so I'm gonna give it another whirl wow what an entrance into the area it's literally just coming around the Jaguar cave oh my gosh still can't go over how intense it was to be honest Definitely not what I was expecting. In a good way. Whoa! Okay, it's happened again. So I decided to sit Mandrill Mayhem out. I've got a bit of a headache from doing it so early this morning. And also because it's two seaters, so it's two and then the track and then two. So I'd have been on my own anyway. So I thought I'll just let the guys go on there as the last ride. They are literally at the front as you go to the station and it's down. This is like the third or fourth ride that's done it to us today. And on the app, rides are just going down all the time. So I don't know what's going on here at Chesapeake today, but it's been a bit disappointing, especially because they've been at the front like every time this has happened. And it's just, we've probably wasted three to four hours in line to rides that then go down. And there's no, like, there's no sorry or anything about it. It's just like, well, it is what it is. So. It's really quite disappointing actually from Chesterton, but there we go. I'm just sitting at the exit of the ride and the train is in the station. It's probably been about 25 minutes now that it's been down without the time they were already in the reserve and ride, which was probably for about 40 minutes. Um, this morning we were straight through, but I guess the busier it gets throughout the day, you do have to wait a little bit for a reserve and ride. So yeah, I don't know how much longer they're gonna give it. I can just about like talk to them so I can go around and sh like yell to where they are, which is not ideal, but. <laughs> Not yell, literally, but you know what I mean. But yeah, I hope they get to ride it. I don't know what you'll be able to see if I show you guys, but the mechanic is literally there now. You can't really see anything, but the train is there with all the monkeys. Um, even if they do get it up, I guess they're gonna have to test it a few times to make sure it's all safe. What a nightmare. I'm literally just sitting like on the ground <laughs> at the exit of the ride and there's the shop and everything there, but it's quiet and shaded and yeah, fingers crossed. Right, the train has left the station. It's coming back through now. We're testing. That's a good sign. And oh my God, that's quick. I'm glad I didn't go on. <laughs> Scary. I think they're gonna get on. A few more test runs, we should be good. Guys, I've just had a real thought while I'm sitting here. I was thinking, oh, the mandrill, the monkey on the front of the train, is actually really quite scary, his face. And then I thought to myself, I had an animal book when I was a child and the picture of this monkey, Mandrill, I'd always flick by. Here it comes. Because I'm scared of it. So maybe I'm just scared of Mandrill. So maybe I'm not scared of the coaster. I don't know. <laughs> Paisley are on Mandrill Mayhem. I literally just saw them on the first ride coming out of the station. Don't know how I feel about that, personally. Um, here they come. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello little Mandrill! I was a bit scared because that was the first time since it broke down. I know, I saw you they guys. Had, they had two um, Two test runs, didn't yes. they? Right, Paisley's prize for being brave is that the guys get to try and win. Hey, that comes straight out. Win a creature. That looks hard. We've got five guys. Go on my darling. Oh! Gently! Gently Wentley! Oh well done! Last attempt, all rides on Rob. No. No. <laughs> That's ten pounds I'll never see again. <laughs> Thank you! The creatures are cool. We made a last stop at the gift shop and the hook the duck. And <laughs> we've got um what are the names? Maxi the sloth and Kiwi the guana. And one last snack is Granny's apple fries, which is Granny Smith apple fries with cinnamon and sugar and whipped cream. Oh my God. Granny Smith's apple fries for the win. They're delicious, aren't they? Absolutely amazing. Caramel sauce and whipped cream. Pacey did not like them, but I think they're really lovely. They've got like, cinnamon on as well. Delicious. 
So that's our day here at Chessington World of Adventures all done. We've had such a fun time, haven't we? We've got quite a lot of rides. We yeah. had some yummy lunch. And, and we get free, five free tickets each of us <laughs> next time Fast Fast is right. No, Rob went and had a bit of a word with customer services about what happened today and how many rides have broken down. We've got a couple of Fast Passes for next time we come, which is good because we all know that problems happen, but it's how people resolve them and we've both worked in customer relations and just it's nobody's fault and these things happen but yeah good outcome overall and we've had a super fun family day haven't we my uh -huh. darling it's the ride spot they put it that's right but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and coming along to Chester world of adventures with us jumanji was an absolute highlight if you have enjoyed it please be sure to subscribe leave us a comment down below and we'll see you real soon bye, bye.